everybody, and welcome to the Empowering Industry Podcast. I'm your host, Charlie K. Matthews, and I am excited to be here. I have loved summer. It's been great. It's been super hot in Alabama, uh, but being able to travel around and getting to see people at events, um, as well as kind of have some fun family time, it's so enjoyable. Um, and today I get to talk with one of our partners, which I'm really excited about. And so you see Met Car is in the house, but um, Enrico, jump on here and introduce yourself. Uh, hey, everybody. Uh, this is Enrico Loy. I'm the director of sales and marketing over at Metalized Carbon. Uh, been working with them for, for 10 years now and just glad to be here today. Uh, definitely enjoying summer too. We're getting into the 90s up in New York this week, so we'll be joining you. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, well, wonderful. And thank you so much for your time today. I'm I'm really interested. You know, there's so many different pathways um, that people get into our industry, but I'm curious about you. How did you stumble upon us? So I, I started, uh, you know, with my degree, starting out studying engineering. I, I had a degree in industrial engineering. And uh, just started to look around for positions and, and found Metcar. I didn't really know much about the industry and definitely not much about carbon graphite. Uh, but as I got to learn more about the company and, and then started a position here, I, I was very intrigued and uh, super interested by all the different applications and the impact that our industry has on you know day to day stuff that kind of in the background that people don't realize, but it uh, has a huge impact. Yeah, and. Um... I'm curious, why did you choose engineering? Uh, I just growing up, uh, that, that was one of the things that I, I, I liked and I felt attracted to putting together things, building things, you know, bikes and motor scooters and whatnot. I definitely had a passion for motors. Uh, call me a motorhead, I guess. But uh, So th those are the things that drew me to it and then getting a deeper understanding for those systems. Awesome. Uh, and so just a little bit about you. I mean, it always comes out in those questions, right? Um, but I'm, I'm also curious about kind of that impact that you're making there at Mitcar. So is there anything that kind of stands out from you as far as what you've achieved there once you kind of got into the industry? Sure. Uh, I think one of the uh, my biggest achievements that I really uh, pride myself on here is uh, developing a new material grade. Um, so we are a materials company and that's what we offer to our customers. So, uh, I was able to work with our, uh, engineering team here and, and the R and D department and come up with a new formula and a new grade that uh, we hadn't, uh, made before. And obviously if you make something that needs to be solving a problem, and, and the problem that we saw was to get higher temperature resistance. So we had about a, it's a 15% improvement on, on anything that we previously had, which was uh, pretty neat. And now it's being used in, out in the world and something that, you know, I kind of had a hand in, but it's really interesting. That's amazing. And, you know, I think I'm just thinking about the engineer here now. Um, that's kind of the dream come true to be able to make something that people yeah. use. So uh, congratulations there. Um Tell us a little bit, though, for you know people maybe that are not in this industry too, um, or that are. What are some like projects that you work on, um, and and what have you learned from the, just the projects that you're working on right now? Yeah, I mean, like I said earlier, carbon graphite and in our industry has so many uh, so many impacts around the world and, and on day to day life. Uh, I'm trying to think of a, a specific one, but uh, I guess internally something that I, that I worked on was uh, kind of a, building a new facility for us for some of our uh, products that are used in that industry. Uh, so that happened about 2017-18 and I was uh, just working on uh, establishing the process and the procedure uh, to get that facility up and running. Uh, so definitely understanding the, the uh, importance of standardization and, and uh, those types of uh, uh, lessons were definitely critical when you're starting something new that you don't have a lot of experience with. Uh, standardizing and, and having a, a plan was obviously the key there. Uh, well, I, I don't have a lot of experience in um, carbon graphite materials. So you're going to have to kind of explain it to me, but I, I understand it 
as you know, you're making these materials. And like you said, like now they're much, they're lasting much longer. Uh, but what are some of the things that stand out about your materials? Sure. Uh, I guess our, our standout characteristic, and it's something that the company has worked on for over 75 years is, and how the company started is the impregnation process or the metallizing process. That's why our name is metallized carbon. Um, so that's how the company started and something that we've uh, worked on and refined over the last 75 years. And then recently the, the new uh, addition that I mentioned earlier was to enhance that process further, uh, but essentially it gives our product the ability to be uh, fully impregnated with whatever the metal required is for, for the application. Um, uh, in the case, let's say food contact uh, applications where maybe we're handling a fluid that's uh, uh, going to be used in, in food. Uh, you'll use a bronze or a copper impregnated material, and uh, that's what we do in, in, in our uh, facility. And what stands out is that we fully impregnate it so there's no porosity. Uh, and again, one of the benefits for food is that if you have no porosity, then you don't have to worry about, you know, uh, bacteria or any sort of issues that could happen when you have a uh, product stuck in a pore and it can, you know, grow bacteria and so forth. Uh, awesome. So that's just one example. Okay, so there's wear resistance, there's therm thermal stability, and self-lubricating properties to these materials. How does that compare? Does not everyone have that? All like other. So, t so tell me, like conventionally, is it different? Um, I mean, the impregnation, yes, and then the the properties are also dictated by the formula, and, and the formula is what really drives everything, and we here at Mechar have our own proprietary formulas that we create, um, and we Okay, have so you can't tell me, you can't tell me yeah, all the secrets. Yeah, I can't tell you details, but, uh, you know, there's minor changes that you can make uh, to the product, so uh, changes in the particulate size, for example, uh, which will affect the wear properties of how quickly it will wear or how uh, how evenly it will wear, uh, things of that nature that we have control over. And, and again, these are things that we've refined over the years to find that medium. And, and also we've tailored things to specific applications. So uh, we have very specific grades for very specific applications so that we can really help the customer uh, have the best fit there. And how do you find out? So I feel like you've got, they've got to tell you a lot about their process, but um, how do you match those two things? Yeah, definitely a lot of NDAs uh, are being signed, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we, we have to uh, really get to know the customer and get to talk to them with our service team. Uh, they get there and they really understand how are you going to use the product? Uh, what are the application parameters? and then we can come and recommend a material uh, that really is going to solve that, that, that problem or make the product more efficient and effective over its course you know, uh, of its life. Uh, so that's really what we try to do uh, to the best of our ability so that the customer has a successful story uh, after. Do you have a favorite project or application? Um, there's a lot of them. Um, I guess a, a really neat one that we've done was with an automotive client and, uh, you know, they were, they were looking to, I guess, reduce emissions in a way and, um, and improve their system. And they tried to do that by incorporating our product or in the past they weren't. Uh, and it, it was a really high temperature condition and that, that grade that I, I helped develop was being used and they were able to successfully achieve the, the goal of reducing their emissions from the system uh, while, you know, uh, maintaining the efficiency and, and whatever was necessary and, you know, meeting the warranty requirements and so forth. So uh, yeah, that was a pretty neat one to see all the way through from, you know, prototype. It took about six years, but uh, it's cool to see it. And now it's going to be out in the world and, <laughs> 
whenever I see a car that has it, I definitely make sure people around me know. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that touches your little motorhead uh, passion there as well. You got to, that's not surprising. That's one of your favorites. Um, yeah. Well, I love that. And I love that you're able to, you know, work in the field that excites you um, and, you know, just make a difference out there for that. Um, I can't let you go, though, before um, doing a little rapid fire. So, um, yeah. brace yourself. Uh, what is your favorite book? Uh, favorite book? I, not gonna lie, I'm not a huge reader. So podcast or audio, like, like blogs, any of uh, your favorites? I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I like sports are probably one of the things that I get more involved in. Uh, and then really using my hand. I mean, I, I spend a lot of my time either working on the house, uh, updating projects, working on cars. Uh, I spend okay. a lot of time outside, so... So that, that leads me to my next question about music. I always ask what kind of uh, music do you like? Uh, uh, alternative rock is probably my favorite and, uh, and definitely alternative rock. And then uh, just general pop as well. I mean, uh, I, I tend to have music in the background on a regular basis when I'm home or just working on projects. Yeah, I can see you just like working with the, with the, with the music jamming out. Um, okay, so uh, what is the best advice that you've ever received? Best advice? Uh, I guess that uh, you never know everything. And uh, when you get into a situation, just uh, before you make a decision or before you say something regarding that situation, make sure that you understand fully what is happening around it so that you can give the best answer possible to that situation. And okay. that, yeah, you know, try not to be closed minded, I guess, is what I was trying to say. Yeah. And then the last question I have for you is if you were talking to a young person coming into this industry, what advice would you give them? Uh, I guess at a glance and the, at the surface, it you know, may appear a little bit uh, boring and old school and, diff, you know, something that's not so, so fancy. But when you get this, you know, underneath the surface, again, it's, it, the impact that it has on a, a regular day-to-day -day life is so huge, and I, I find that really rewarding. So uh, I guess try to stick with it, and then you'll see the benefits once you get to learn about it more. I love that so much, and uh, definitely an example of that, and kind of you know using your um, expertise and what you've learned to make a difference there at Metcar. So let me. Um, know I guess how to direct people if they want to learn more about you connect with you or uh, met car and the kind of their latest developments uh what would you where would you point them uh, I think the best uh is uh LinkedIn to start that is probably the best place to find news about met car what we're doing uh we're posting blogs pretty frequently now uh, about uses for carbon graphite and how we've helped people solve issues and then also our website has a lot of resources available, you know, uh, white papers, blogs, um, data sheets, things of that nature. And then lastly, you know, you can reach out to our service team. Uh, I think there's a link to our, our email on the website and you can just reach out and somebody will be with you, you know, within the same day. Uh, we try to keep up with that pretty regularly. Awesome. Well, Enrico, thank you for your time. Thank you for being a partner of ours. And just uh, thanks for inspiring us all. If y'all haven't done so, share this episode. Go ahead and share some more in the archives. You know, we love um, sharing people's stories and all of the different things that we do in industry do make a difference and an impact in the world. So share that. And until next time, be empowering.